Hey guys, this is Ben uh, from Lucky Cat. We are here and we are going to show you how to make an amazing barbecue sauce. It's going to be something you can use with chicken, you can use it with fish. Uh, we're going to do a pork rib dish. It also works really well with game, especially now it's starting with the game season. So let's get to the sauce. Um, our main ingredient for the sauce, or the, the hero, is cumin. So we've got some uh, roasted cumin seeds which is just ground down and we've got some roasted black peppercorns. So we're going to just put them into the pesto mortar and just give it another quick bash, just to break them down a little bit more. Super important to toast your uh, seeds before, or spices before you grind them because it releases a lot of the oil, softens them up a little bit and makes them more easy to uh, break down. It's going to go in, it looks like quite a lot, but it's going to be fine. Then to that we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. We've got some dried Korean chili flakes. We've got some uh, panela sugar, so some, like, or some soft brown sugar if you haven't got that. Um, Worcestershire sauce, very hard to say, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, we've got some ketchup, which we make uh, right now, uh, at the end of the summer, with some beautiful tomatoes, cider vinegar, so it's going to be nice and sharp. We've got a sweet, sour, spicy thing going on. Uh, two more ingredients are, this is our smoked sriracha sauce, which we've made with our friends over at Eaton Alive, down in South London. So you can use normal sriracha if you haven't got the smoked or you're not got that available to you. And the secret ingredient is this, it looks a bit gross, but it is uh, kombu extract, so like kombu dashi, so it's quite a quite a niche ingredient, but if you can get it, uh, it works super well. It just adds a really delicious flavor to the uh, sauce. So what we're gonna do is just give that a really good mix, and then we're gonna pop it onto the fire, and bring it up to the boil, and we're just gonna simmer it for about, about 10 or 15 minutes, just so that it thickens up slightly. You don't want it too thick, so you don't want it to be like ketchup, um, but you want to have it just so you can start to glaze and lacquer up the meat or fish that you're cooking. So we'll just pop that on the stove now. And that's it, and then we're gonna leave it there for about 10 minutes, let it come up to the simmer for about 15, and then we're ready to go. Okay, so that's our sauce. So basically, we just brought it to the boil. Um, you need to bring it to the boil so everything kind of comes together. And as, it, as the rolling boil starts, everything starts to emulsify together. So you've got all those different liquids and sugars and spices in there. You want it all to become like a beautiful, uh, if you look now, you can see it's a really nice, shiny um, glaze, and it's quite nice and thick as well. So what we've done is we're just roasting these um, pork ribs over the barbecue. Um, we smoke them as well, but if you haven't got a smoker, it's completely fine. Um, we're just roasting them, basically rendering out all the fat, crisping up the meat slightly, and then we're just going to keep basting it with this beautiful sauce. So we're just going to finish on the grill. Uh, plenty of glaze. So if you're going to cook uh, chicken, for example, you wouldn't pre-cook the chicken and reheat it. You'd have it um, just nicely, slowly going over the fire, slowly over the grill. Um, that's why it works really nicely with game birds, so quail, um, we're going to do it with grouse soon, as we get the first grouse in. Just really gently grilled, um, and, and they cook quite quickly, so that's kind of what we're looking for. So while it's cooking, uh, really, really important, just keep basting it and basting it and basting it. Uh, if you see any like barbecue guys from America, they normally have a mop and a bucket, and that's how much sauce they're putting on. So they're just basting on there, basting on there, basting on there. So it's just the, the meat, the fat's coming out of the meat, and then the, and the placement of the fat and the sauce is going in there. So it's going to be really sticky and beautiful and delicious. So you can see we've got that beautiful char colour. All that sugar and all that caramel is just sticking onto the rib now. We're just going to give it one final glaze right now. And then we're just going to hit it now with some loads of roasted spices. So now we're just going to finish it with some uh, roasted spices. So in here, we've got a lucky sashimi pepper. So a mix of seven spices, uh, chili, uh, coriander seeds and ground shiso. Uh, and then we also put some uh, tomatoes, dehydrated tomato powders in there as well, and some sesame seeds, so it gives it a really beautiful flavour. And then we've got the, the spices that we use for the sauce. So we've got some toasted cumin, we've got some uh, roasted coriander seeds, and then we've also got a little bit more of the chilli uh, and black pepper and white peppercorns. That's going to go on top. And then we basically just serve a dish straight onto a nice clean tray. And then we serve it with a little bit more of the barbecue sauce and we serve it with lime. And that is our cumin spiced barbecue ribs. <laughs>